Here at Swarovski Optic, we manufacture some of the finest optical products in the world. And we have some really great options when it comes to tripods as well. Our AT101 aluminum version, our CT101 carbon fiber version, and the CT Traveler in carbon fiber as well are three great options to match up to all of our spotting scopes and binoculars that will make your time out in the field much more productive. When choosing the best tripod that's right for you, there's a lot of things you need to take a look at, but first and foremost for me, it's what it's made of. The aluminum tripod has been the standard for our industry for a long time. Carbon fiber has become really popular in the last few years due to its light weight, and even with our CT Traveler, it packs up so small, so if you're backpacking, if you're up in the mountains, and if you're just doing a lot of general travel, this is a great option. Some of the really cool features on all of our tripods that make your time in the field really enjoyable. Number one is padded legs. Carrying these tripods up and down the hill, if you have to put them over your shoulder, these padded legs really make it much more comfortable. All of them include a really nice strap, so if you're not putting your tripod in a backpack and you're carrying it, it really gives you a nice option to carry it. A hook that when you're out using a big spotting scope and heavy wind looking long distances and it's windy out and you need to stabilize that tripod a little bit more just add some weight whether it's a backpack or something you can hang and it really cinches those legs to the ground. The adjustments themselves when you're out in the field they're nice easy and quiet you open them up get your desired length and nice and quietly snap them back down and then the biggest thing is if you need to get real low on the tripod or you're on uneven ground no matter what situation you're in, you're able to get these legs in a, in a nice, easy, comfortable position and then lock it back in. Most of our authorized Swarovski Optic dealers will sell the legs separately so you can choose the best option that works for you. The other thing you'll need to purchase is our DH-101 head and typically they're shipped in different boxes. So the first thing we need to do is take a look at how to properly install the head onto the legs. The first thing you'll notice when you pull those legs out of the box is they've got a little thread protector. You just want to take that off. It'll expose these threads that match up to what's underneath the head. All you need to do is screw that on. Pretty simple. The next step in the process is this three set screws underneath that we're going to need to get at. And with all of our tripods, you can extend the shaft. And obviously that's very important out in the field when you're using it. But just for installation purposes, you may want to bring it up a little bit. It'll be easier to get a screwdriver into those screws. The next step in the process is to get underneath and there's three set screws that you have to tighten up. And you definitely want to make sure you get these screws nice and snug. Once you have them nice and snug, the next step in the process, for me, I always like to get my product onto the head before I make my fine tuning. And to get the product, what's really nice is you have a little locking mechanism where you need to pull it out away from the tripod head and push it, and that will release the tripod plate. And all of our heads from Swarovski Optic come with a tripod plate. It's really nice if you have cameras, if you have some other products that you want to use on these tripods. But the nice thing is these tripod heads were specifically designed for Swarovski product. The foot will fit on our spotting scopes automatically into the tripod without the plate itself. The plate is really nice if you have cameras, if you have other product that you're going to be using on these tripods that's not the typical Swarovski foot. Once you have the product in place on top of the tripod head, now it's time to look at some of the fine tuning capabilities of this tripod head. And first, let's look at the tension side. This is the right side of the head itself. You'll see a little set screw and a bigger set dial. And this is to lock the tension in. On the bottom screw, you could take a screwdriver and just tighten that screw or loosen that screw and get it to the desired tension you would want on your panning ability of that particular scope or binocular. And the same thing with the bigger dial up top is for tension, but that tension is for your vertical. So once you kind of kind of have to play with that, once you get it to your specific needs, then it can lock right in on the left side. So when you're panning and your tension is where you want it, you go out in the field, you're looking at animals up on the hill, and you want to lock that scope in vertically at a certain spot, that's the nice lock for you. Same thing with the panning. If you're panning back and forth in a marsh looking for birds and you see one you want to see and, and maybe want someone else to look through the scope, you can lock that scope right down and it will not allow that scope to pan left or right. So the really unique features of this, this tripod has the fact that you can adjust it to your desired 
uh, tensions and then also when you're out in the field to get better viewing you can lock things right where they are. So now that you're fully assembled and you have some of your fine tune adjustments made, you're basically ready to go out in the field. One other thing to note is that the arm on our tripod heads is all fully adjustable. So whether you're the person that likes it at this angle or even to be able to use at this angle, it is a really easy switch to make. Just one little set screw will loosen it up and then tighten it back up. So as you can see, we've got a lot of different options on tripods. We thought of all the little things to them, but one thing's for sure, no matter which one you choose, it will make your optical performance even better in the field.